going to uh, set out some jugs some of the bluegill I caught in the last video I think I'm gonna cut these chunk style I don't feel like filleting <laughs> cut the head then you have a middle section there then I'll put the tail on just hole or whatever so some new jugs made some new ones haha <laughs> I went back took the old coated the wood with boat builders epoxy and then finished it out with a varnish I have my triple threat swivel here plus my catman hook you know we're just gonna set out jugs this is a fairly shallow part of the river believe it or not put it out in right there something kind of like that so we're going chunk bait today just like that and the way I hook the heads is it's come in through uh, a lot of times I come in through one eyeball and then come out through the skull like that that's how I do that I just throw the whole thing over like that. First time I fished this particular section, this spot of the river had good luck was when I first started experimenting with hand lines. One of the big limitations with jugs is how many jugs can you carry? Although I have enough material to make about 40 something jugs, <laughs> how are you gonna carry them all, right? So it's like, make sure you get those scales off. Yeah. I meant to stop and get some chicken gizzards, but I just forgot. And one <laughs> clean me up sometimes you're not gonna be able to catch enough bait so what you have to do is just go buy some bait like chicken gizzards or something got, got this one oh, come on dude seriously stop all this death roll stuff Parasite on that guy. It's like a little snail on the bottom of his lip. Cook your meat thoroughly. <laughs> little blue. First time, uh, second time I've caught a blue. Corner of the mouth. See? I can't get them loose, so you get the pliers and any other sort of thin wire hook, you deform the hook and. Mm, mm. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Yeah, see? You got that hook out, but that hook is not deformed. I keep saying that and I'll keep saying it. Eating size, that's all I want to catch. Oh, come on. This is my least section, least favorite section of this river, but, and so, but I haven't been back here in a couple of years, so. He hit it. He hit it right in front of my face, but didn't take it. I thought I was going home, fellas. Dude, stop! It looks more like a channel, actually. If you sting me, you're gonna get hurt. It looks more like that's a channel. That's definitely a channel. Salted bluegill. Once again, corner of the mouth. Just to show you how. To... Gosh, you just have to manhandle those hooks out of these cats, man. But again, the hook just doesn't care. The hook doesn't care. Nice little sandwich-sized channel. Fellas, we don't call us a dinosaur. God, first time I have never caught one of these in my life. Gosh, look at that. Wow, I've never caught one of these in my life. God, this guy is ornery. Oh, that's a gar. I'm not sure what the regs are, but what we're going to do is... If you're never sure what the regs are, we're just going to uh, cut him and let him go. Oh. We're going to let him go. He's bleeding though. I don't... My goodness, <laughs> alligator gar. That was a gar. I thought it may have been a pickerel, but no, that was a gar. First time. On the jug line. Those things, and they're like, they really are like dinosaurs. We just, we just cut the line left. See, I don't know the regs. I may have been able to keep him, 
but I don't know the regs. And so in order to stay safe, especially here on the YouTube channel where it's all public and stuff, I just cut him and let him go back. He should have been able to bite through that line though. A gar, isn't that crazy? Hope you like the video, man. If, uh, if you like what I'm doing, subscribe. Uh, you can also watch a couple other videos I've got hovering around here somewhere. And, or if you want to support what I'm doing, you can always go to my website, Amazon, or eBay to get some of the Black Warrior Lewis products that I sell. And uh, that's it, my friends. I'll see you next time.